we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. Why? Because we know that bending stress is equal to moment into C divided by I. So for that, we will need the moment. And you can see along the length of beam, the moments vary. So let's start drawing this bending moment diagram. I'm drawing the two vertical lines from the end of the beam. On x-axis, we can take the length of beam x. X is in inch. While on y-axis, you have shear force. Okay. Now, what we will do is that, again, you can see that RA is how much? 0 0.446. So let this is 0. 4667 times P. So starting from this, moving from A to B, there is no load. So from A till B, this will remain same. Now at this point, we have minus P. So 0 0.466 minus P will bring it to minus 0 0.533. So let's say 0 0.533 is this point. So it will change it to this point. I will write it minus 0 0.533 P. Now from B to C, there is no load. So it will remain same till this point. And at point C, you can see you have RC, which is equal to 1.533. So minus 0 0.533 plus 1.533 will bring it to 1. So let's say 1 is this point. So this shear force will change from this to 1. Okay. Now moving from C to D, there is no load, so it will remain horizontal. But at the end, uh, sorry, this will not will be, this will be P, because there is a P. Okay. Now at the end, you can see minus P, will be, which will bring it to 0. Okay. So this will be your shear force diagram. Now from this shear force diagram, what we will do is that we will draw a bending moment diagram. Again, X will be in inch, and on Y axis, you will be having moment. Now we know that area under the shear force diagram will give you moment, so this will be the first area. I will write it as A1, and this A1 will be equal to 0 0.4667 multiplied by this length, which is 10. So I will get it 4.667. So at, at, at point A, you have moment is equal to 0. Now at length of 10 inch, what is the moment if that is 4.667 times P? So let's say this is 4.667 times P. 4.667 times P. And you can see that shear force is a horizontal line with 0 degrees, so bending moment will be 1 degree higher and its slope will be increasing. So we will get this straight line. Let me draw it straight line by combining these two points. Okay. Now this is the second area A2 and this second area is equal to minus 0 0.553 multiplied by 20 and uh, that will give you what? That will give you the value uh, of minus 10.6667 times P. Okay, now the, what will be the bending moment at this point? So 4.667p minus this A2 value, minus 10.667 will give you uh, minus 6. Okay, so this will be the, minus 6 will be the, let's say this point is minus 6. So minus 6p. So bending moment will be this. And you can see that shear force is a horizontal line with 0 degree and its value is negative. So bending moment will be 1 degree higher and its slope will be decreasing and it will be a straight line. I will draw it again, a straight line. Okay, now the last area is this area and this area is A3 and this is height is P and it is, this is 6 inch. So it will be equal to 6P. So minus 6P plus 6P will bring it to 0 and bending moment will be 1 degree line and slope will be increasing because A3 is positive. So this is what we get the bending moment diagram.